Hey guys, it's Nina with um, Consignment Collective on eBay and on Amazon, The Truth Seeker here on YouTube. Um, just wanted to come back to you with a quick video on a couple of other brands of shoes to look for. Um, some of you may or may not know these brands. I didn't know a couple of them, but I had a hunch. Um, and one of these three I did know, and that was this one, the MBTs. Um, I just want to give a shout out to um, Autumn's Upscale Retail for inspiring me to do more with shoes. I kind of discovered shoes a few weeks ago um, and bought a couple at a yard sale and sold them very quickly, so that should have been a clue. Um, but I didn't think that used one would sell so well. So I have learned from her how to refurbish them, um, make them look a lot nicer, and get them out the door pretty quickly. So um, here's one of the shoes. It's MBT. MBT is a, it's called a physiological shoe. Um, this is a Mary Jane style, which is still very popular. And um, there's been some controversy about these, you know, rocking shoes, but the MBTs are still selling pretty well just because they were the originals. Um, that's the logo there. You can see that these are practically brand new. I think there's one spot of mud. I have not cleaned these up yet. That That's really the only sign that there's any wear on these, so I might even, depending on how well they clean up, um, be able to sell these as new without box. Um, I picked these up for a dollar at a yard sale, a church yard sale, and uh, there was a second pair that were sandals that I also got, and I'm probably looking at getting 50 to 60 out of these. They sell in the hundreds new. Um, another pair that I just had a hunch about, even though I had not heard anyone talk about this brand, this is a brand called Belvedere. Um, it said Florence, so I figured they were Italian made. The bottoms are leather, so that's a sign of a pretty quality shoe. In decent shape, um, need a little bit of refurbishing, but that shouldn't be a problem. And the reason I um, originally was attracted to these was because this is alligator or crocodile um, skin on the toe. So it's a nice loafer. It's a size 12 men's. I think it should do really well. Um, even used, these are selling in the hundreds. So I should do pretty well on those. Still wait to get those cleaned up. Um, this was another comfort shoe, just uh, Autumn says to look for shoes made in Germany. So this was one that I had not heard of. It's called Finn Comfort, made in Germany. Um, there's the German written in there. Maybe I'll turn it right side up for those of you who are not comfortable reading upside down, even in English. Um, these were, I think, a size 9.5 or 10 men's. I'm trying to see in there upside down. 43, so I think that's a... I think that's a nine. <clears throat> and they, you know, they're modern style, pretty decent shape. Um, they have this nice little silver raised metallic logo on them. If I can get that to focus, let's see. It says Finn Comfort Germany. And these were actually at a consignment shop. They were on sale for think $17.50, something like that. She originally had them priced at $29 or something like that. I'm finding that my consignment shop is actually a good place to shop. Um, I just sold these. I bought them on Friday and I sold them today for $60, bucks, 59 95 including shipping. Um, and I spent $17.50 on them. I, you know, that's a little much just to spend on a shoe when you can, you know, I got these for three thirty nine dollars at the Goodwill. I got these for a dollar, but still, um, it was a quick turnaround. Um, I made probably 35 bucks on the sale after shipping and fees. And, um, you know, to me that was worth it because I had a feeling that these would sell well. Um, I subsequently found three other pairs at the Goodwill. They were women's sizes. They were a size 7, which is a little bit small, and I um, they, they seemed like they were like winter or older kind of style. So I opted out of those. They had them just priced for $9 a pair. I, uh, I just opted out. Um, I decided that if I was going to spend $9 a pair, I would do it in something that was going to sell quicker because I had a feeling while those would sell, they would not sell fast. Um, so just uh, three more brands for you guys to keep an eye out for. The... Uh, Finn Comfort, Belvedere, very high-end shoe, and the MBTs. 
All right, hope that helps. Happy picking. I'll see you again later. Bye.